Hi, it's Val Suffern with Apple Tech for You. Today I want to go over voiceover on the Apple Watch. So I got my Apple Watch for Christmas and I was so very excited thinking that I would be able to use the Zoom feature to get around. Well, I quickly discovered that the small screen was just not enough room for me to zoom and be able to use it functionally. Uh, it was just too difficult. So I decided to try voiceover and see how that worked. Uh, it was a lot different and a much more positive experience using voiceover on the Apple Watch than on the phone. So I'm really, really happy to say that I was able to keep my Apple Watch and use voiceover. So you can use it on settings on the watch, but it is very small, like I said. So without voiceover on, it's difficult to get around in the settings. So we're going to use our phone, which is a much bigger screen that allows me to see things a lot easier. And it's just a nice way to control everything, get everything set up rather than use the Apple Watch. So I use, because of my visual impairment, um, it's a lot easier to get around using the Watch app. So basically we want to go to the accessibility features, which is under general, and we scroll down to accessibility. Now, Right now, I have my voiceover off, so when you turn it on, it gives you different features so you can decide how loud you want your voiceover to be and how fast you want it to be. I'm going to turn mine all the way up so you can hear everything whenever we're, we're working. Um, but one thing to make note of is if when you turn voiceover on, you want to turn Zoom off because they don't work well together. Once we get into the Apple Watch and Zoom is on, you can't swipe to get from screen to screen. It doesn't work. So it's very important. I didn't know that and I had to play around with it to figure that out. So turn Zoom off while we're using VoiceOver. Okay, now you can turn it on here if you want, but I'm going to show you how you can turn it on quickly, so turn it off and on on your watch very quickly, so um, just in case if you're somewhere and you don't want the voiceover to be talking, you don't have to go back to your app and you don't have to scroll to, font, to settings, you can just triple click the digital crown to turn it off and on. So right now I'm going to turn it on because it's not on. But first before I do that I just want to show you how to get around how I would get around um, without the voiceover, which is, is difficult. So to get notifications, you know, you're just swiping up and down. To get to your dock, you swipe up with one finger. To get to my apps, you can just move around freely with one finger. Now, right now, because of my vision, my low vision, I have no idea what these apps are. You can zoom them, but I still am not able to tell what they are. So I could probably, maybe, I doubt it, but maybe set them up in the, um, in the app on my phone and remember where they are, but that's pretty difficult. There's so many, I'm not going to remember where they are. So voiceover is just my answer to be able to using the watch independently or without a magnifier. So let's go back to our watch face. So here I am. And to turn it on, you'll be clicking the digital crown three times. Voice over on. So you hear that it's on. PM. All right. So now, instead of using one finger to swipe around and to get places, I'm going to have to use two. So that's the difference there. So if we use two, we can get to our notifications. CNN. Nancy Pelosi calls President Trump's Supreme Court pick Neil Gore clear. Okay. 
Then I can swipe back up. PM. It's a little bit more difficult, but you do get used to it. Swipe up to get my... No, I don't want to do that. 9.22 p.m. Connected over iPhone. Okay, so then I can get to my dock. And now, whenever I tap on each item, it will tell me what it is. And then to select, you press twice. 67% battery. Airplane mode. Switch mute. Switch button. Okay, Off. so we're on mute, and I know that's where we are. And I can double click. Off. Oop. On. There. To turn it on. Okay. Mute. Switch button. On. Off. And that's how I turn it off. Then I use my two fingers. Connected over iPhone. 9 to swipe back. All right, so let's go to our apps now. Voice over on. Clock. All right, so now when I'm in my apps, I need to use two fingers to swipe to get into the vicinity of where I, I want to go. And then I can click. Steelers. Weather. Heart rate. To where I want to go. So say I want to check my heart rate. I double click. What heart rate? Double tap. Heart rate. And it will take me to the heart rate app. And then I can click on it. 69 BPM. Four minutes ago. And it will tell me what my heart rate is. If there's something that you know that you're clicking on and you're like, hmm, wonder if this will tell me anything, you can just click on it and it will make that noise to tell you that that's not anything readable. But this... 69 BPM. It is. Four minutes ago. Okay, and to get back, I click on the digital crown. Heart rate. And I can get back. Again, I use two fingers. Activity. To swipe. Activity. Open up. Activity. And there it will tell me my activity for the day. Moving. 113%. Exercising. 20%. Standing. 100. Little tip is if ever you are wanting it to be quiet and mute while it's talking, you can put your hand over top and it will immediately mute. 9.43 p.m. So I hope that these little um, features and brief instruction on how to use voiceover was helpful to you. And for the next time, I'll get more in detail about what voiceover can do. And in the future, I'll share more about the accessibility features on the Apple Watch. Have a great day.